Hi, welcome to my video today. I'm going to show you how to make a very nice skybox for whatever 3D scene you want. It's completely customizable to whatever theme or coloring you like. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to zalos.com, then uh, look at the projects here. You'll find skybox render, the one with the nice fluffy clouds. Click on that. If you go in here, you'll have a noisy clouds that you can't really see the detail they'll slowly fill in you can just get a nice quick preview of what your clouds look like uh, so now that we're in here we can just go to settings and start customizing our sky so I want to make a very nice misty sunset so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this the uh, sun position to be down at the sunset level so if you go to the sun direction here first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the X position, which is the first value. So the sun goes over to this part of the sky. Then I'm going to go to the Y, which is the next value here, and change it to 0 0.2. You can't see it because it's behind the clouds, but you can tell by the nice ye uh, yellow-orange tint on the clouds that it is sunset. <coughs> Now I'm going to increase the sun size so you can increase the uh, sun brightness and you can see it a bit better. Now it's a bit too uh, bright for a sunset so I'm going to go to sky dome top color which is that blue coloring here and lower it make it look more like a sunset color. Get that kind of purplish. Yeah that's a nice sunset coloring then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna customize the clouds a little bit go down to cloud movement here and I will raise the clouds a bit higher up in the sky I'm just gonna go to rendering go down to render to cube map quality I'm gonna go up set the quality to high quality and I'm gonna go render once your sky has finished rendering you will have this pop-up that gives you the positive X negative X positive Y negative Y positive Z negative Z images for each face of the skybox you can download these and use them in whatever program you want so once you've saved your images for each of the cube map faces and let's say you want to use it in a game engine like unity in my case well if you go into the unity documentation there's formats that you need to put the cube, map, cube maps in or in, in a 3d modeler's case like blender you can just do the uv mapping yourself and you can really put the images in whatever order you want but uh, in unity's case we need them in this specific order and I don't want to copy and paste them in this order every time so I've made a little app here where you can just paste each image and it automatically puts it in the vertical format here so I'm just gonna take all these images I have here from the cube map and I'm gonna put each one into the app drag this into unity and select it as a cube map there we go and uh, then go to our lighting oh we actually have to turn this into a cube map material first now we can put that as our background and go to our camera and set that to skybox and now we can see we've got this big fluffy clouds and this sunset in our and we've got a nice scene lit by our skybox provides some nice reflections thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy the skybox app and uh, please share the things you make with it if you make anything with it